is an audio book for class 12 English medium biology students presented by kalvisolai.com Biology Botany Chapter 2 Classical Genetics In this lesson we can see the book back one mark questions with the answers Question number 1 Extra nuclear inheritance is a consequence of the presence of genes in Option A mitochondria and chloroplasts Option B endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria Option C ribosomes and chloroplast Option D lysosomes and ribosomes Answer to this question number 1 is option A mitochondria and chloroplasts Question number 2 In order to find out the different types of gametes produced by a pea plant having the genotype capital A small a capital B small b it should be crossed to a plant with the genotype option a small a small a capital b capital b option b capital a small a capital b capital b option c capital a capital a capital b capital b option d small a small a small b small b answer to this question number 2 is option d small a small a small b small b question number 3 How many different kinds of gametes will be produced by a plant having the genotype capital A capital A capital B small b capital C capital C option A 3 option B 4 option C 9 option D 2 answer to this question number 3 is option D 2 question number 4 Which one of the following is an example of polygenic inheritance? Option A flower color in Mirabilis jalapa. Option B production of male honey bees. Option C pot shape in garden pea. Option D skin color in humans. Answer to this question number 4 is option D skin color in humans. Question number 5 In Mendel's experiments with garden peas, round seed shape, capital R capital R was dominant over wrinkled seeds, small r small r, yellow cotyledon, capital Y capital Y was dominant over green cotyledon, small y small y. What are the expected phenotypes in the F2 generation of the cross capital R capital R, capital Y capital Y versus small r small r, small y small y? Option A only round seeds with green cotyledons Option B only wrinkled seeds with yellow cotyledons Option C only wrinkled seeds with green cotyledons Option D round seeds with yellow cotyledons and wrinkled seeds with yellow cotyledons Answer to this question number 5 is option D round seeds with yellow cotyledons and wrinkled seeds with yellow cotyledons Question number 6 Test cross involves Option A crossing between two genotypes with recessive traits Option B crossing between two F1 hybrids Option C crossing the F1 hybrid with a double recessive genotype Option D crossing between two genotypes with dominant traits Answer to this question number 6 is option C crossing the f1 hybrid with a double recessive genotype question number 7 in pea plants yellow seeds are dominant to green if a heterozygous yellow seed plant is crossed with a green seeded plant what ratio of yellow and green seeded plants would you expect in f1 generation option a 9 yeast 1 option b 1 yeast 3 option b 3 yeast 1 option d 50 yeast 50 answer to this question number 7 is option d 50 yeast 50 question number 8 the genotype of a plant showing the dominant phenotype can be determined by option a back cross option b test cross option c dihybrid cross option d pedigree analysis 
आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज ऑप्शन बी टेस्ट क्रॉस क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम द वंस गिवन बिलो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डाईहाइब्रिड क्रॉस ऑप्शन ए टाइटली लिंक्ड जीन्स ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम्स शो वेरी फ्यू कॉम्बिनेशंस ऑप्शन बी टाइटली लिंक्ड जीन्स ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम्स शो हायर कॉम्बिनेशंस ऑप्शन सी जीन्स फार अपार्ट ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम्स शो वेरी फ्यू रिकॉम्बिनेशंस ऑप्शन डी जीन्स लूजली लिंक्ड ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम्स शो सिमिलर रिकॉम्बिनेशंस एज द टाइटली लिंक्ड आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज ऑप्शन ए टाइटली लिंक्ड जीन्स ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम्स शो वेरी फ्यू कॉम्बिनेशंस क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन विच मेंडेलायन आइडिया इज डिपिक्टेड बाय अ क्रॉस इन विच द एफ वन जेनरेशन रिजेंबल्स बोथ द पैरेंट्स ऑप्शन ए इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस ऑप्शन बी लॉ ऑफ डोमिनेंस ऑप्शन सी इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ वन जीन ऑप्शन डी कोडोमिनेंस आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इज ऑप्शन डी कोडोमिनेंस दिस इज एन ऑडियो बुक फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व इंग्लिश मीडियम बायोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स presented by kalvisolai.com question number 11 fruit color in squash is an example of option a recessive epistasis option b dominant epistasis option c complementary genes option d inhibitory genes answer to this question number 11 is option b dominant epistasis Question number 12 In his classic experiments on pea plants Mendel did not use option A flowering position option B seed color option C pod length option D seed shape Answer to this question number 12 is option C pod length Question number 13 The epistatic effect in which the dihybrid cross 9 yeast 3 yeast 3 yeast 1 between capital a small a capital b small b and capital a small a small b small b is modified as option a dominance of one allele on another allele of both loci option b interaction between two alleles of different loci option c dominance of one allele to another alleles of the same loci Option D interaction between two alleles of some loci Answer to this question number 13 is option B interaction between two alleles of different loci Question number 14 In a test cross involving F1 dihybrid flies more parental type of spring were produced than the recombination type of spring This indicates Option A The two genes are located on two different chromosomes. Option B, chromosomes failed to separate during meiosis. Option C, the two genes are linked and present on the some chromosomes. Option D, both of the characters are controlled by more than one gene. Answer to this question number 14 is option C. The two genes are linked and present on the some chromosomes. Question number 15 The genes controlling the 7p characters studied by Mendel are known to be located on how many different chromosomes Option A 7 Option B 6 Option C 5 Option D 4 Answer to this question number 15 is option D 4 Question number 16 Which of the following explains how progeny can possess the combinations of traits that none of the parents possessed? Option A law of segregation. Option B chromosome theory. Option C law of independent assortment. Option D polygenic inheritance. Answer to this question number 16 is option C law of independent assortment. Question number 17. Gametes are never hybrid. This is a statement of Option A, law of dominance. Option B, law of independent assortment. Option C, law of segregation. Option D, 
Law of Random Fertilization Answer to this question number 17 is Option C, Law of Segregation. Question number 18 Gene which suppresses other genes' activity but does not lie on the same locus is called as Option A, epistatic Option B, supplement only Option C, hypostatic Option D, codominant Answer to this question number 18 is Option A, epistatic Question number 19 Pure tall plants are crossed with pure dwarf plants. In the F1 generation, all plants were tall. These tall plants of F1 generation were self, and the ratio of tall to dwarf plants obtained was 3 yeast 1. This is called Option A. Dominance Option B. Inheritance Option C. Codominance Option D. Heredity Answer to this question number 19 is Option A. Dominance Question number 20 The dominant epistasis ratio is Option A. 9 yeast, 3 yeast, 3 yeast 1 Option B. 12 yeast, 3 yeast 1 Option C. 9 yeast, 3 yeast 4 Option D. 9 yeast, 6 yeast 1 Answer to this question number 20 is Option B, 12 yeast, 3 yeast 1. Question number 21. Select the period for Mendel's hybridization experiments. Option A, 1856 to 1863. Option B, 1850 to 1870. Option C, 1857 to 1869. Option D, 1870-1877 Answer to this question number 21 is Option A, 1856-1863 Question number 22 Among the following characters, which one was not considered by Mendel in his experimentation P? Option A, stem, tall or dwarf Option B, trichomal glandular or non-glandular Option C, seed Green or yellow. Option D. Pod. Inflated or constricted. Answer to this question number 22 is Option B. Trichomal glandular or non glandular. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Thanks to everyone who listened to this audiobook for plus to students provided by www.calvisolai.com, a popular educational website. Stay tuned to calvisolai.com to hear more of the audio books. Plus to students play and listen to the audio over and over again. Then click on the link below to write an online test. Post your scores in the website comments box. Please like, comment and share to everyone.